911. What is your emergency? Oh, my God. They're having a whole shootout. So someone was shot already? So someone shot right now in the parking lot? Yes, in the parking lot, dying. Who fell in love first? Who's more annoying when they're hungry? Who's the homebody in the relationship? Who's more spoiled? Who's more grumpy? Who lies more? Who takes care of the other when drunk? <laughs> Who has better hygiene? Yep. Who calls or texts more? <laughs> Who's the alpha in the relationship? <laughs> Who has the cuter smile? Who loves the other person more? Who can't wait for marriage and kids? This is the story of Ariana Reed, age 23, an aspiring nurse who was gunned down by the father of her son and ex-boyfriend, Larval Huddleston, age 26, while she was dropping off her son to him on a scheduled visit. During the shooting, a passerby who lived in the complex that tried to render help was also fatally shot, and a third person was shot in the ankle but survived. He would go on Facebook after the crime during a police standoff to explain what had happened, what led to it and how he wanted to be buried after he passes away. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Police continue to search for more clues in a shooting in Brown Deer yesterday that left three people dead and a fourth person injured. Based on this story, we will be heading to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee is a city located in the southeast of Wisconsin. It is the largest city of the state Wisconsin, and the 31st most populous city in the United States. Milwaukee is known for its scenic river walk, beautiful lakefront access, historic buildings, nightlife options as well as several professional sports teams. Ariana Reed, age 23, was a young mother who was well liked by everyone around her. Ariana was the beloved daughter of Aaron and Tracy Reed. She went to Marshall High School and later attended Bryant and Stratton College. Ariuna was a medical assistant studying to become a registered nurse. Hi, can I help you? Do you have a question? Um, it's a lot I got to ask you. We'll make it quick. How do I feel to be the mother queen of the world? Well, honey, I've been the queen so long, you know. How does the sun feel to be that? Know what I mean? <laughs> Any more questions, guys, gals? She was also establishing a vending machine business on the side. Her TikTok account is filled with viral dances and scrapbooking. Some of y'all babies don't know how to flirt, so let mama teach you how. Step one is to smile, step two is to look down, step three is to look back up. Ready? One, two, three, here we go. You know our love would be tragic. Ayo, bottom lip check. Tuck in your bottom lip and let go. In three, two, one. She vlogged herself while at work. So, of course, I have my heater every day that I plug in first to get it warm in my area. And then I open the lab, basically, and take out all of the needles and things that we lock up so people don't steal them, basically. Um, I do, like, quality controls on the machines before we do anything with the patients and their specimens on them to make sure they're running properly. She also so vlogged on YouTube about her um, hair and other stuffs. Basically, I just twisted it at the roots with that and um, my spray. And then I went in with the tool and just like kind of locked it. Ariuna had a son who she loved dearly. His son, Egypt, was the love of her life she posted him frequently on social media. You know, if it wasn't for you, I kind of wouldn't be as strong as I am right now. There were 
happened to my heart? What happened to your heart? Well, when the first time I told you, I when I saw you, my heart fell in love with you. The father of the child was a young man known as Larval Huddleston. Ariuna was in a relationship with Larval. It was a very lovely relationship in the beginning. They had really good times together, making TikTok videos. What is his favorite meal to eat? You gotta say it loud. Does he prefer spooning or getting spooned? Spoon. What is his favorite sport to play? Football. What is his favorite thing to do together? Everything. What is his dream car? Uh, Charger. What makes him angry? Me. What is his favorite team? He don't have one. Yes, Would he rather play video games or watch a movie? Video games. What makes him happy? Me. What motivates him? Me. What's his favorite position? What? Small boy. Everything. Ah, so small boy. Ah. Girlfriends about their boyfriends. They have family pictures together too. Sometime after they had their child, Egypt, things started going downhill for them so they decided to split. Larval who was a rapper tried to make things work but she was done with him. I have them staking out patiently waiting to hit them, I sick them, they get them, riding through the ops to guess what I'm on. Uh -huh. He would not let things go but she was ready to co-parent with him which was ultimately what led to her demise. On February 5th, 2022. Ariuna was dropping off Egypt with his father as agreed. She got to the apartment and she dropped him, some things led to another making Larval really upset. He went ahead to get his gun while Ariuna was walking away. He would proceed to shoot her from the balcony of his second floor apartment. She tried to escape with the bullet injuries but Larval would reload his gun, chase her down then shoot her repeatedly. A second victim, Michael Anderson, age 31, who lived at the complex, was shot and killed when he tried to provide aid to Ariuna. A third person, age 36, suffered a shot to the leg but survived. People who lived next door heard the gunshots and called the cops. 911, what is your emergency? Oh my god, they're having a whole shootout. There are the never before heard 911 calls as a gunman opened fire at the Park Plaza apartments in Brown Deer last February, killing two people. So someone was shot already? So someone was shot right now in the parking lot? Yes in the parking lot dying. From a balcony, police say Larvell Huddleston shot and killed the mother of his child, Ariana Reed, and a neighbor, Michael Anderson, who tried to help her. I got shot. Okay, hold on one second, don't hang up. Once police officers arrived on scene to respond to shots fired at the apartment complex, Larvell Huddleston shot at officers from his second floor balcony. He hit a squad car but missed the officers, who never shot back. At this point in time, his own two-year-old boy, Egypt, was inside the apartment. Larval barricaded himself on the inside and then went live on Facebook. The video which has since been deleted on the platform. But in the video which was screen grabbed by some other user, in the eight minute long recording, Larval can be seen pacing through the apartment with the weapon and requesting that police safely retrieve his son. He could be heard saying, this would be the last time his friends will hear from him. He went further to flash the clothing he wanted to be buried in and started asking for forgiveness. He also mentioned his struggles with mental health. After a while, a loud sound could be heard coming from his apartment. In a never-before-seen footage, the cops made their way into the apartment finding him motionless on the ground. Body camera video shows the moment the officers on Milwaukee's tactical team busted into the apartment. Outside, the Milwaukee tactical team moves in, shields up, guns drawn. Milwaukee Police, we're at 214! Open the door! Department 214, it's the Milwaukee Police! It's open. They make it to Huddleston's apartment and quickly learn the shooter. Then officers rescuing the little boy unharmed. Hey, buddy. Hey, let, let's pick him up and get him out of here. Come on, kiddo. I got the kid coming out. Ariuna's family were devastated after learning what had happened. Police continue to search for more clues in a shooting in Brown Deer yesterday that left three people dead and a fourth person injured. Bruce Harrison spoke with the family of a young mother who was among those shot and killed. Ariana Reed's brother, Aaron, left Milwaukee. He was afraid to start a family in a violent city. But violence brought him home yesterday in a rush when his sister was shot and killed. It's like a, it's like a hole that 
I ain't gonna never be able to close. You know what I'm saying? It's like. A close family, big brother Aaron watched out for Ari as she was known by her family. And I was always there to protect her every day. You know what I'm saying? Any questions, any schoolyard bullies, we went to school together. We seven to eight years apart, so I was always the one she came to when any, anything came up. Now, he's here to speak for her. She was the life, you know what I'm saying? She was the life of the family. Anytime we came together, we always look for my little sister to keep the joy going on around us. Ari's family says her ex-boyfriend and father of her child shot her to death. She had stopped by his home to drop off their two-year-old son, Egypt. The suspect's brother tells TMJ4 News that man's name is Larvell Huddleston. Police believe the suspect shot and Ari's family is struggling to accept that gun violence in the city has touched them. Or to hit home, like the way he's hitting home, it's just, it's, it's diabolical. You know, it's really diabolical and we are hurting so bad. Ari was studying to be a registered nurse. She also ran a small design company. Her mother, Tracy, told us Ari loved her family. Together, they'll raise Egypt. Any, anything that he could possibly need or want in life, he can always call me. I'll always come back home in a heartbeat. Ariana's mother said her daughter finished soccer practice with her two-year-old son and was dropping him off at Larvel's home when the fatal shooting occurred. Larvel had a pending weapon possession charge from October 2020. His July 2021 trial was delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Ariana's family remembered her as a bright star. A vigil was held in her memory. Ariana went to high school here, and tonight a memorial to better times remains here on this tree, a memorial to a young woman her family says was a bright star. My heart is so broken, I'm so lost. Ariana Reed's Aunt Sharice remembers a 23-year-old who seemed to touch everyone she came across with her personality. A beautiful soul gone, never seen a frown on her face, always smiling. An innocent bystander, 31-year-old Michael Anderson, who tried to intervene, was also killed. He was a hero. Just put it that way. The guy was a hero, and we would love to uh, reach out to his family and let his family know that, that we appreciate what he tried to do. The people at tonight's vigil are searching for answers, wondering why someone would take innocent lives and leave a family grieving and a small child without his parents. A beautiful young man has to go on without his parents. I'm shattered right now. I don't know what to do. I lost my beautiful angel. If you need help, just say something. And I get it's not always the easiest thing to say or easiest thing to do. I want to say thank you guys for coming out and supporting my family through this difficult time. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Ariuna Reed. May Ariuna's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors and gun violence survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. This is where I'm at. One month locked. Thanks for watching my video guys. Like, comment, subscribe.